So our purpose here uh, is, first of all, to just recap uh, the process that we've had so far. Uh, my name is Kenneth Garcia. I work with uh, Gilmore Farm Farming. We were hired by uh, the development team to uh, work on the streetscape improvement part of this project. Um, so as you, as you may be aware, uh, the, the uh, Plaza development has allocated a specific amount of money to do neighborhood improvements uh, in three areas. Uh, this is the, the west area of those three areas. The, um, the other areas have mostly been uh, kind of settled down already and are moving forward. Uh, and this still has a couple of questions. The other two areas already have become peer to the city manager. Uh, the other two areas already have permits from, from the county and will be uh, proceeding in, in the construction. And we decided to do this to make sure that it, what we were developing is something that was in line with, with what uh, your area wants, the EOS area. And so uh, that's what this is about. Uh, and uh, in looking at, at, at our budget, we'll be, we'll be happy to work with you all in, into, into uh, whatever, whatever type of cross-section, whatever issues that, that, that you all are looking for. So, as long as it's within uh, that that budget, and, and we can we can uh, I think look at this today, and and, and then proceed uh, proceed after that. Uh, uh, by the way, this, this this project has been bonded by the by the uh, by the uh, Agawi folks, so so there, there is no issue uh, concerning the funding. So it's completely the six point three two five million dollars that will be worked for this project and for the park are 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 bonded. So I just want to clarify. That. Okay. So please. So I'm just going to take a little bit of time to kind of go back in time to see where we got here. At the beginning of this process, we explained that this grass section has a long history uh, with historic buildings uh, throughout. And what we did, uh, this was back in October of 2017. Uh, we held. Uh, neighborhood meetings um, and we actually walked on the street uh, with the neighbors uh, and kind of to get direct feedback um, and after taking that walking tour we actually went back uh, and had some kind of group sessions that were actually right on maps of what residents felt was important uh, in in this project of, of improving their streets. Um, and when we heard from uh, from those meetings, we actually took took the maps that people marked up, and there, uh, we had uh, photos that uh, people put post-it notes on, and we took that information and we kind of synthesized uh, what the big ideas were that the neighbors wanted to get out of this project. Um, so first, first of all, what we heard was that uh, shade trees, uh, the addition of shade trees was important. Um, also, uh, these streets in particular are very wide, and there's a lot of asphalt, open asphalt, that invites speeding. Uh, there's speeding that happens in the neighborhood, partly because it feels like a very wide street that you can drive past down on. And we've heard uh, concerns uh, about, for example, uh, the Mercedes-Benz dealership that uses these roads as uh, test drives um, <laughs> and just creating an unsafe situation. Um, we also heard the need for better lighting. There are some uh, kind of highway scale lights uh, on the streets currently, but there's no pedestrian scale lighting. Um, so that was the other uh, desire from this project. Um, and then just in general, uh, neighbor, neighbors felt that uh, the streets in this in the cross section area were not worthy of the great tradition of, of be building beautiful streets that the city beautiful is known for. Uh, so there was a desire to kind of live up to that expectation. Um, so um, we took those ideas, we kind of synthesized it into one map. Um, and then we came back in January of 2018 uh, to kind of present back uh, 
what the big ideas are, and you can see all three areas in this map and in the after getting a lot more trees. Um, and this was the plan at that time uh, for uh, Malaga and Catalonia. Um, and this was in keeping with what the other area, the designs for the other two areas were, which was essentially to take the street and narrow it and turn it into a grass whale uh, with trees in the middle. Uh, parking would take place in between trees on the grass with some uh, parking pads. Um, and what we heard at that time uh, was that that might be okay for other areas, but this, this side of, of the neighborhood felt like that they were more urban and they didn't want to revert back to the grass whales that you see throughout the rest of the world. Um, so we came back in October of 2018 uh, to kind of give uh, a series of options for how we could proceed moving forward. Uh, so number one was uh, just showing what's there uh, now. Um, number two was essentially a design that we had before that was in keeping with what the other areas were doing. Um, Um, that looks like that with the grass whales and trees. Um, another option uh, was to have uh, bulb up, essentially floating tree islands, um, where you would have uh, trees and in between you would have parking spaces. Um, and the third option. The third option was to actually cut into the sidewalk to have a grass uh, strip and with, that would be limited in width where you could find some trees. It would have to be a different species because it would have to be smaller trees. Um, and that would allow you to have, get some greenery. This option uh, would not reduce the width of the street, so it wouldn't do, any, it wouldn't do that much about the speeding problem. Um, and what we heard at that time was uh, that this was really what the neighbors were leaning towards, uh, the idea of the tree islands. But they said, well, can you landscape those islands a little better and actually have slightly fewer of them so to retain more of the parking? Um, so this was, uh, as of the last time that we met, this was kind of the consensus idea. And you can see how it went from that amount of tree islands to that amount in order to keep more of the parking. Um, and that was where we left it in October of 2018. Uh, we did hear a desire for uh, perhaps a different option that would be a variation on this option that we presented that has um, the, the grass in the sidewalk center grass strip next to the sidewalk, but would extend the curb line in to narrow the street. And the, the, situ the, the analysis uh, on that option was basically that it just doesn't meet the budget that has been allocated. Um, so uh, certainly if another option could be uh, that the the city keeps the funding for the street in a separate fund, and you look for other funding to meet that gap. Um, and some just nothing gets done at this time. And you just wait to do this at another time, or we can do one of the other options. Can you tell me the difference between the option that you're saying that if we go into the street, how much difference is that? It's significant. Um, it's not. It's not a little bit more. It's more than double. I need the estimates because to say significance, I need to know the number. I'll tell you why, because I proffered to the city, yeah. and my name is Maria Menendez, I live at 322 Catalonia. I proffered to the city, there is budget funded in the tree, um, there's a tree funding 
for areas that have no trees. Malaga, uh, I think San Sebastian and Catalonia, 300 block is in that budget for trees. There's more than $600,000 in that budget. I've proffered that to the city because there are other sources. Now, I appreciate all that you all have done, but in 2015, when the Agave project was underway, I don't think you guys were involved, we had $2 million allocated for our area, Malaga, Catalonia, and San Sebastián, or Santander. Somehow, some of that money disappeared and went to other areas less impacted. We need to know <laughs> when are we going to get the funding necessary for this project. I've proffered another funding source. I can't, we can't continue this route if we're not going to work together and try to find a solution to what was promised in 2015. Well, um, I know that uh, the development agreement currently has $6.325 million allocated The same number to, as 2015. Allocated to all the areas. Yes. Um, and so there, there's not a specific number. Now there isn't, but in 2015 there was. I it was $2 million yes. allocated to the west side of our, you know, of our area. So, I mean, I know it's changed. That's, you know, what for whatever political, whatever motivated people to change it, we have other funding source. The tree, I forgot the name of it, tree planning, I gave okay, it to the can city. We, can we, can we, instead of, we No, but over, there's over 600,000 if well, we have over, short. over 600,000, you could, look. If there's a shortness I, of funds. I've already given you the, the estimates, you know. That I don't have the estimates, I asked uh, for the I, estimates. I gave them to you. No, no, he doesn't have the estimate no, but I gave of them, the I difference. Gave, I gave those to you. Peter. I we don't have the more. estimate of the difference. I, I don't have that estimate. I, I Nobody has provided us find, that estimate. But I would like to find out what you are looking for. We are looking for okay, the which, design. Which option are we looking for? We are looking for the design that was presented in January of 2018 for San Sebastian. Can you, I mean, can I'm you sorry, not for San Sebastian. Can you bring that up? Please. That is what we were promised when we went through this whole process in 2015, before any anybody so, here was involved. Okay. So that very, goes into the street. This is very similar to the, the other option that I just have on the screen that has a, a grass strip next to the sidewalk. The sidewalk would narrow a little bit, but not as much, um, and the curb would come out. Right. That requires redoing all the drainage in the street. Yeah, that's I understand. Reason, that's what's costing. That's the right? reason that the, but, but that, what you have there is you have all asphalt, and you have the asphalt from curb to curb, and you have a median gutter that for a drain, which is that what, what's left of the car. Right, you could do okay. the gutter so, either here so, or you could do so, the gutter right. next to the... So you have a, you've got a curb, a curb condition there, and do, do we have a better picture of that? Uh, no, actually. Um, the, the, the other thing about moving the curb out, depending on the existing timing width, you're looking at a potential roadway reconstruction, because that, as you move up the front of the road, right. your curb gets higher, and potentially you end up higher than the sidewalk. So you will be creating a situation where not a sidewalk is played. No, but, I understand. But are you looking at... So, so, so that increases the cost. Right. Okay, so right. the but we're looking at there, that's not a... That is a large piece of asphalt there. That is a right. large piece of asphalt. Yeah, yes. In the right. existing. In the existing. I mean, yes. No, no, it, no, I'm sorry. That's also a large piece of asphalt yeah, because that goes from curb to curb. Yeah. Right. Right? So, so the existing, so that, the existing street looks like this. And the new street will look much different. Other no, than, I think you can bump out... Like we had uh, expressed, we like to put our streets more narrow. We like to provide trees. We like to provide a green strip. We like to have an urban look to an urban area. And we like to keep our parking. That allows us to keep all our parking. It allows us to have more than six trees in the block. It allows us to have something that meets Coral Gable standards. This is what we were promised in 2015. This is why we were allocated so much money was because we knew that we had to go through a reconstruction process, you know, so... You, your, your, your street has the most cost per linear foot of any other street. In 2015, know. everybody recognized that. You weren't here at the time. You weren't involved in it. Nobody here from the city nor the developer or developer representative were involved in that process. But are you... Bringing but, the attorney or by guy, he was involved in the process. Well, let's, let's take a look at, at what, what we have there with the curb and gutter. What you basically have there is that same cross-section 
The only thing is you have, you have landscaping instead of, uh, instead of sidewalk, and you have a curb running on either side. Is that what you really want there? We want an urban look that provides us the trees that well, we will all enjoy. We'll have a green strip, and we will have a more narrow street well, let's so ask that we can slow down well, traffic. Let's ask everybody else. Let's ask no, them. of course. Okay, does, does uh, I think what the, the last picture that was shown, uh, you've got, you've got, you've got this area here. Yeah, you would expand. You expand the, this curve the, the curb here with green, and then right. this would be asphalt, and this would be a deep uh, valley gutter. The uh, valley gutter would be a piece of concrete going the whole edge with drainage grades. Okay, so you would essentially have asphalt from here to here. Okay. Is that is that something that the, the, that you all are looking for? Then? But it would narrow the street as well. Slightly, yes. slightly, 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 slightly. Slightly like it would if you did the swale, for instance? No, no, no. Go back Less because back. You, would, you would have, there would be additional asphalt that's just for parking. Okay. In the swale that you're... The additional would be... Would go back to that picture. Can you go back to, to that picture, please? I just, I just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure that you all understand. That's going on. Back, go back to that, to the picture. Okay, you're, 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 you're increasing the green area here, you have a curb. All this is asphalt. This is a curb like you've seen in many other cities. Where Miracle Mile. Miracle Mile yes. has yes. that. Similar to that. Yeah, similar to that. Okay, and then you have a drain structure here mm -hmm. every so often. So this would be asphalt from here, and this would be asphalt and the same thing on the other side. So so you would gain, you, you would gain this green space here, and you would... And you would have this this curb and gutter here, but you have a very expansive piece of asphalt. From that piece of uh, a curb, from that curb to the other curb, is going to be more narrow. The street yes. in the middle, a little bit, narrow. this yes. much, this much. You can do something. more. You can do more, though. Um, so you can do more. So, Where the cars drive through, let me let me help with this. Because how wide would I, that be? I think I can help with this. Wait a minute. So um, currently the. Um, the dimensions uh -huh. between the curb, between one curb and another, is uh, <coughs> 42 feet. 42 feet. I'm sorry, 22 feet. You can narrow it to 36. Why? Why 36? 10, 10 feet for each uh, driving lane. And eight feet for each parking. But you can go, you can go more narrow if you want to give that calming effect. For com for traffic calming purposes, you can go narrow. I think you can go as narrow as nine and nine. For the lane, for the traffic. for the lanes, exactly. So let's, you know, I love I love public input. This is important, but we have to get the facts out. We have to tell. So somewhere between the thirty-four correction. and thirty-six. There minutes. you go. Okay. Um, that would give you. An extra six to eight feet. Uh, oh, that, to put, that the to street put a, would be narrow, swale, narrower by to six put, to eight. To feet. put a nice swale, perhaps, to add So more. it's uh, three to four feet on either side. Right. It would narrow by three to four feet on either side. With a curve? With a curve, yes. With a curve. Narrowing the street isn't going to slow down my drivers. That's true, but it, you know everything helps, right? The, what we have now is like a speedy lane. You show me the options. Well, that also helps. I'm all, you know. I go to the previous option. The street and the one with the constant traffic. So, can you go through the the, the different options again? Yeah. Because I think it's good to to look at those again. That's what this this. Swale one, that is what the other areas are doing, that seem to be overwhelmingly rejected by You, you have to understand last. that that, where we are, because of the very heavy traffic in that area, right. will not work. That works across the street of, of the June because there's not that many cars, but once cars start parking on the grass, right. there's not going to be any grass. And we recognize that that was the... And people the, dump trash also on the street. That's another problem. I said I'd be an invitation for we, we, we recognize that that was the, the reaction that, from that. Yeah. Uh, and that was the reason we came back to the, to the other option. So, and then this, so this was a, the option that we had that, had that meeting in October 
2018. But, that, but in 2018, the original with the curb had <coughs> been discarded somehow. For cost reasons, yes. For cost reasons. Is that right? I wasn't there. There was only five or four residents representing us at that meeting. And my understanding is that they were told that that, that option was off the table probably because of the cost, as he so stated. The problem is, is that we have a unique area. It's an urban area. It's a residential urban area. This solution that was proffered in October gives us maybe six streets, um, trees on our street. That doesn't work. That's terrible. We have been here, I have been on Catalonia 26 years. Others have been here over 40 years. We've never been provided any types of shades or improvements for Catalonia, Malaga. I can't talk for Santander. We need something. We need something nice that's what Coral Gables is all about. To come in with a substandard plotting of planters throughout our tree street to just put in a tree every so often, it just doesn't work. That, you, you're, that solution only is a cost issue and it allows the drainage to continue flowing the way it does now. But aesthetically, it's going to be appalling to have six trees in a, such a large area. To me, it's an insult. It's an insult. Give us a solution that's going to provide for what we have been waiting for all these years. You know, that's all we're asking for and what we were promised in 215. Okay. I've given you another budget source. Don't delay us any further because all I'm hearing is that, you know, now we're going to be the last ones in the list. Okay, but get it done right. So, uh, so it sounds like the, the solution you're proffering is you set aside the, the money from Agave and you look for the other this sources. Is, oh, I look it. for it. No, I look for it. One second. Maria, one second. Let's go to, to, to the next solution. No, go back, go back, go back. The other, the, that's, that is a, a similar to what we're talking, just in the asphalt width, but the green area will be slightly larger, mm -hmm. and there will be, and there will be a gutter right through here. So, so this green area will be slightly larger, mm -hmm. right, right, by about three feet, yes. approximately, and there will be a gutter right through here. Okay. So that's. I just want to make sure that, that you all understand. Yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see where I can, what I can do, okay? But, but we have to come to some consensus. I make the, the road itself, the drivable road, more narrow. And right. Well, you'll have, like three to you'll have kind of a gutter delineating it. You'll have a gutter delineating it. It's like a big gutter, like, like a mile, but, you know. I understand that, but the part at the middle, where you determine where you're going to put the gutter depends on how wide the middle is. If you can narrow will, it will to 90 feet, well, we, 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 we will try. 8 feet? No, you can't. Well, well, eight, eight, eight feet less than what it's 9 feet is, nine feet is nine. absolute minimal, assuming the county, because remember this has to right. go that's to the big, the, that's yeah. the big, uh, to the county. The other two areas have gone to the county and just recently were permitted, and it takes, it takes a while to get it there. So assuming that the big county, which handles our, which has to approve our streets or signalization, mm -hmm. Or stop signs, everything go, goes to the account. So, so what I'd like to see is, is, is in this meeting is see what what you all are thinking about and see what I can do to see if I can make that happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't promise, right. but I'm going to try. Okay, so so, but I just want to make sure that you understand what what it is that that, that we're talking mm -hmm. about. So, so this would be, and I do agree. With, with Maria, I'd like to get more trees in there, mm -hmm. and maybe I can use a separate fund to get those trees in. Mm -hmm. So maybe go three feet here, so you'd have three feet here, mm -hmm. right? So it would be green to here, and then the, there would be a gutter that would come through here, mm -hmm. and that would be the same thing on both sides. So you still would have the asphalt, you, you could park there, it would be a little more delineated because you have the actual, uh, the actual gutter mm -hmm. there, but you still have the asphalt width of 36, uh, 34, 34 to 36 feet, mm -hmm. depending on what Dade County, uh, on, on what we can work out as far as as far as Dade County permitting, right? Mm -hmm. Is that is that your preferred solution? I, I think so. Do, do, as long as there's a curve, very important that there's a curve. Sure. Mm -hmm. 
So what do you think, Maria? No, I'm fine. I mean, I think I've said enough. No, no, I so think everybody needs to speak up right. if they want but, something but, but different. Is that something I have that, no that, problem. that overall, is that something that you all think? Because we, we've got to come up with some type of solution that you all want, and then I, I, want, to, I want to go back. I know how much money we have, but I just to let you know that, that your area is funded substantially more than even the area adjacent to Ogali, which is the most impacted area. It's not the most impacted area. You're the most impacted area. Area, area one. You're the second most impacted area, but 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 they're the most impacted area, and you're you're funded, I believe. Excuse me on those numbers, but 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 it's a substantially larger number than than the area directly across from the Agave project. Mr. Manager, I, I I understand that, but just let's make it very clear. Our area has never received any improvements from the city, even when I was there. Okay. I understand. Well, Never has received so if, so you so that you feel more comfortable. Given that scenario, we deserve a little more. We deserve it because craft section in the eighties got the planners. I know. We did the sidewalk program. We put in the planners and the trees. And San Sebastian on on the east side has gotten a lot of things too. So our area has never received improvements. I Work with us. But I'm just making a point. That I understand and I appreciate that point. I'm just making that point that that that. This area has received substantially more per linear foot. When you look at, at the cost per linear foot, substantially more than any of than any of the areas, substantially more certainly in the area across from 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 Adal. So I'm gonna look at the funding sources to see what else what we can do to augment what 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 Agalbi is doing. I can't promise you because I, I have to find out first what you all what you all are are, are looking for and what you think would be something that that that, that as a whole the, the neighborhood would, would want. So 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 to make it clear, we're looking at expanding the curb three feet, right? Already a curb going three feet, already a a gutter, and then the asphalt pavement. Right? Is that is, is there any consensus on that? Or yes. Uh, I have a suggestion, but before I do I live on Malaga for forty two years, that block. And um, a key point, which I, I like the, the latest the design that we're focusing on, is not getting rid of parking spaces because not everybody has a circular driveway. <coughs> we have single car driveway, we have three cars. It ain't easy. Um, also, I'm of the opinion, uh, I'm, I'm not too keen on narrowing the road too much because folks don't care if it's an, I mean, to a certain extent, they don't care if it, the road's narrower, they're still going to speed from Laguna Salzedo, the wider road gives us a little bit more room to duck for our lives. That's the way I look at it. If it's too narrow, we're going to be taken out like Pac-Man. Um, now, yeah, so, but my suggestion and, and I, is to, if you could give the neighbors here five minutes to talk among themselves and perhaps they can come up with a consensus and they can talk maybe a five minute break. Perfect. Let's, let, let's go to the other options. I just want to make sure that you all see them. I just want to make sure that you're, that you're clear on, on what we're talking about. Uh, well, that, that, I think the other option was to, to do that. Show, show it, show it, uh, show, show the other option. <coughs> One second. Okay, we have this option, which all, which, which has the, the, the islands, the, uh, you would lose some parking. You would lose some parking. Okay. That's okay. You, you are pitting, in this option, you are pitting the trees against the parking. So you can get more trees. Or you can get more parking, uh, and that that seems to be the conflict. And the idea here is to narrow this. This that's what you were saying. Next one. Let's show, let's show the next one. <coughs> oh, better. I think this one. Right. No, no, no. This the, the one that shows the uh, the. Uh, oh. Right. Okay. We okay. Go back. We had the one. We basically the same thing except with ground cover instead of instead of grass. Right. Can I proffer something yes, in addition to what you, you have? Let me know. Just give me one minute, you can proffer it if you want. Okay, so so if we look at, 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 that, last, at that last picture, right? The <coughs> one that, that, that we talked about, which had the actual green area, the green area was about to here. So 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 you have additional green area with, with uh, a narrow sidewalk. And then, and then the curb, and then this gutter is the one that I was talking about. So, so, and I'm looking at different options, and I have the public works director here because 
We may be able to keep some of the drainage, because this doesn't necessarily have to be a gutter. Maybe we, we can do that in concrete, color concrete, or something like that, where it can simulate the same thing and keep the drainage back here. And, and not, right. not affect. So I have to see exactly what you want and see how we can value engineer it and see what we can put in from, from the, maybe I can get some from our, from our trees. And we have Dina here, who is one of our landscape architects. But to be, to be clear, the, 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 um, the existing drainage is along the curb line. So moving the curb out would uh, move the drainage. But sending the drainage, so moving the curb out? Yes. But, but keeping, if we keep this as a flow line, it's a little that cheaper, than, it's a little cheaper than the other. Maybe we can, we, we, we can take care of that, right. Right. And, then, and then maybe do this in some type of color concrete right. to give you the same effect, mm -hmm. right? That, that would be nice. Right? And, and, then, and then I can look and see in, with our tree fund if we can augment the actual trees and maybe maybe take the tree money, put it here, and let me see what I can do as far as, as, far as tree planting. And, it, and, it, and it could, I don't promise, I'm going to look, okay? Okay, so. That but, would be great. But, so, so and I have, this, and I have uh, the gold worship right here. So if we, if we our, our drainage is here. Right. However, if we keep the flow line back here, Sit the, the same flow line, and we uh -huh. take this and reconstruct it here. It's much cheaper than reconstructing all, all the drainage. <coughs> it's cheaper, and we don't. We may not have to reconstruct the, the entire. We may limit the reconstruction. The, the, the construction right. substantial. We so I'm going to look at that. Some look at some value engineering, right? But 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 now, please meet among yourselves. Can and, I just proffer one more idea? Yeah. Hold up. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Ma so <laughs> my neighbor Stuart, who lives on uh, Salzito in Catalonia suffers a lot with the commercial right next to him. And they're parking in his corner constantly. I would like to proffer, with his permission, and he can jump out and say, no, Marie, I don't want that, that you have the bump outs at the corners. You know, when you bump it out to kind of like eliminate that first right. corner so that they can't, because what's happening when he has activities at the Knights of Columbus, Everybody's all over his. I'm not sure that's going to do it. I think what we could do is residential parking permits. No, we have that. We have that. It's a constant problem because they don't have five people coming. They have 200. Yeah. And for whatever reason, the, they'd rather well, not pay that's, that's, $2 well, well, wait, wait, wait. that's going to change that. But the, the, the parking tickets just went up from $18 to $36. It's not so true. I think it's going to be. It's you know, not true. They hide behind. They, they tuck in. On the wife's car, thinking they're going to hide. It's like, are you kidding me? So are, we, are, we not, are you saying, are we not taking them properly? No, that, I you your, parking, that your, your parking folks are tremendous. I love them. They're great, but they're not around all the time. You know? So and the, the, and the problem, problem is, and I just want to finish. The yeah. problem is, it's great I call parking enforcement. They get a ticket, but I lost my parking spot in front of my house. Yeah. I need to be able to, I'm in a really bad spot, unlike others. Because I have my driveway on Salzedo, which is another problem, but I only have um, parking right in front of my house. So if somebody parks there, I got no parking. Well, we, we can certainly take a look at that. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you that the, the county just raised parking ticket prices from $18 to the new year to $36. Yeah. I think that's going to be that's a, that's a, that's a big bump. And, and now we're getting a six dollar ticket. Now you maybe some people may be thinking about it. I, I think that. That, that, that may affect it, and those would be $36 uh, tickets at that time. But, but we can certainly look at the bump outs. We yeah, the bump outs would be great because what happens is he also has cars parking beyond the stop, you know, because they're trying to squeeze in in front of his property. So the bump out provides not only more of a landscaping effect, narrows the street from the very beginning, and then it opens up, and then provides him a comfort level knowing that at least that's what, you know, area what I like to do nice. right now is if you all meet and, and let us know what you, what you're looking for, and then what I what we can do is try to value engineer it, and I can look at other areas, maybe get trees and certain other, other budgetary items, see if I can raise it. And again, please, I don't promise, but I'm going to look because maybe we can we can take some of these trees and Dina's here, maybe we can use it from our tree from one of our tree funds and, and plant and plant trees, and and uh, we we may do it maybe over uh, maybe we can plant. Uh, 50% of trees one year and six months later, 50% of, of the rest of the Let me let me work on that, and but I need to get some I need to get some idea as to as to what what you all feel is, is really appropriate in, in this area uh, from your perspective. So if you all would like to meet, certainly that would that would be great. Give us some some. Feedback. Can we just stay right here and maybe you guys? 
Who wants to go? Yeah, we'll yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So we met um, and thank you for giving us the time for meeting the meeting. And uh, we reach a consensus, so we have you know our preference in terms of which option. But, but there are also three minor option the discussion points that we'd like to discuss. The good point is we all agree to that design. Okay. Uh, the three points obviously is the issue with the Knights of Columbus and the you know to deal with that. Uh, another issue or point that came up to further discuss the lighting options of what the city plans to do with regards to lighting. And the third. Neighbors, we are, we're currently using MPNL okay. because they are, they, they are very, um, a very good program right now. And what I'm trying to do is make sure that we don't add more lighting that we have to replace after hurricane. We're not really in, in the lighting business, so we want to make sure that it goes to, to, uh, to FPNL. So we, we, we can discuss that, yeah. and I believe uh, Adal is working with, with FPNL on that. If we lose 5,000 poles, I, we, we're not in, in the, in the extremely expensive to actually replace. So we are working with FPN and Lab to lower our our vulnerability to suddenly we have a hurricane, lose everything, uh, and, and, the, and the, the I want that to be part of of FPNL's problem, not really our problem. Because right. again, we're not in the full business. And once I, I would imagine once the city and the Agave and FPNL reach an understanding as to what kind of lighting it can be we'll brought, want, yes, brought we'll, back to we'll, us. And, and the third. And the third is. There was a discussion, and everyone was in agreement that we would like to see some type of pavers, a crosswalk from corner to corner. So the corner, um, uh, the corners where let's say where Salcedo is, and the corners of Malaga and Catalonia, some uh, crosswalks. So uh, and Maria, I don't know if you want to, and uh, with pavers it might slow down, help further. What slow I was down. told by those that walked with the consultant was that during those discussions, one of the pro what they proffered and what's part of the design is crosswalks. Crosswalks at Salzito in Catalonia, uh, Malaga in Catalonia, and I believe Lejeune in, in Catalonia and Lejeune in Malaga. So there was crosswalks. The bump outs, right? The bump outs that I introduced do not take a parking <coughs> space if we're just doing the corners. But that's something to look at. If it's too costly, you know, we'd have to reconsider it. It's not a priority. It was proffered primarily to slow down traffic, uh -huh. Uh -huh. take care of those corners because when you're you're standing there waiting to cross, they take them fast. I mean, it's a real racetrack, especially with Mercedes Benz using okay. our streets so, for testing. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and and, and by the way, I think these trees are too large. Well, these trees actually don't fit there. Uh, you can't have oaks in these kind of trees in that. No, no. no. Because by, by our count, it's about, we would end up with five and a half feet for the back <coughs> area, mm -hmm. which would be enough room to do something like Tumbo Limbos or Brian Vales. Well, we also think that we can't put oaks on that, on that narrow strip. Yeah. It'd have to be the, the, the first, the, 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 white, yeah. the white grass area. So, so what we're going to do now, we, 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 we talk about the lighting, the bump outs, and, and, and the papers, and this design. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back. Try to value engineer, see where I can maybe have additional funding for for the trees, as you said, and then and then work work with the guy to value engineer it. And, and Peter, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but the paving width we're we're not we're not in love with the nine feet. We're probably ten and ten would be more appropriate. Just ten, ten is probably ten, ten, really yeah. ten, ten well, we're probably but, but if you do ten and ten, now you end up with four and a half feet. And your planting area is getting significantly smaller. But or were, so how are you? What were you going to do with the sidewalk? How wide is the sidewalk? So, so, so the idea with the sidewalk, right now, I believe, <coughs> if I'm wrong, you have an eight-foot sidewalk. It's actually two, four feet uh, flags, and then you have like a six-inch uh, curvy. curve. It's not really a curve. It's attached to it, but right. serving that function. So the idea was to sock cut it. By the in the, middle. in the middle, by the you need it to a four foot sidewalk. No, 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 no. Okay. Then we add two feet to it. My concern is that if we suck out, how's that gonna look though? Better than suck out in two feet from the existing side. No, no, I, I was thinking of redoing the whole thing. But well, I'm, not well, sure. I'm not sure we can afford it. it, it okay, it, it, I'll, so I'll try. Try to, I mean, give us uh, the I, estimates. I, I, I guess, yes, try, but, 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 but what we're looking at, we're trying to value engineer this. I understand that. And, and, and get it in budget. We can't get it in budget, but I'm gonna look at other areas to see if I can augment the budget to see if we if we can do that. So okay. so we're gonna to try to value engineer. We're looking at a six foot sidewalk versus an eight foot sidewalk to get some uh, some more green air. I think if we do it properly, 
we saw it properly, put the joints in properly. I think I think with with the grass, I think it was all right. Pressure clean, but, but existing, pressure right? clean all your existing. The old one. Right, so, so it looks the same. Right, right. Okay. So nice. so we'll try to do that. Oh, and and we just talked outside about other value engineering options that I think we we can do. Instead of turning in this this uh, into a gutter, this is going to be this is going to be color concrete. So it will function the same to, because I think what you'll want is to delineate yes. that traffic area. That helps. Right? That helps with the traffic. However, problem. however your drainage problem is a, is something that we can handle. You, we don't need that to be a gutter. Yeah. So so because if we if we if that's a gutter, it requires complete reconstruction. The budget it just it's it just a, it's, it's complete reconstruction of of the street. So we're looking at taking the drainage structures and seeing. How we can how we can accommodate those? I'm going to look at some of the landscaping and some of the things that that that, she, that, that the city can put in. You make a very good point. That has no trees, and and, and that, that, that that's a very good point. And and so and so now we have consensus. Mm -hmm. I think what we're going to do is is we got we have to do some civil engineering and some and the, and, and a landscape architect and the Gavi civil engineers are working along with our public works department to try to to value engineer this and see if we can get you. Uh, this this cross section here, and see and see how we can how we can maximize all these kind of areas. So 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 I, I think do we understand? What we, so the the look will, will be similar, but we'll have range back here. Yeah, so, 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 so so the one thing I want to do, if you don't mind, because you guys sit there on ten, I just want to because we have five and a half feet of green space when we were thinking about a ten foot traveling and an eight foot parking. And I just over five and a half feet of green space. So if you go ten and ten, you end up with three. No, no, I think they were talking about the, the travel. Not no, 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 no. Ten foot travel. Oh, okay. Travel. Okay. Travel. Okay. Travel. Okay. Travel. Okay. Travel. okay. Instead of nine, because we were so, first, well, I was saying well, nine. The, the but county, ten feet, I think. That we, we, that may be better because the county may not allow any right. parking for nine foot traveling. In a so area. We do ten and eight. Right. Ten foot traveling, eight foot parking lane, curb, and you end up with five and a half foot. So, so, so it's ten and eight. Ten and eight. Ten and eight. Yeah. Okay. So we'll work with ten and eight. So I, I think I think we have a plan. I can't promise that I'm going to lose. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Thank you so much. May I ask something about Trapa? Because there's nobody in a wheelchair here. And so the idea that you guys have with the crosswalk is changing texture so that the cars know they're coming across an intersection. But every every place I've worked at where uh, folks in wheelchairs turn out, they always say, please do not add texture to the crosswalk. Because it's hard enough and, and scary enough for them to cross the street as it is, and the textured sidewalk means that their wheelchair is bouncing. So the, the the intent is to slow the cars down. So we need to be creative about how we create some kind of rumble experience for the car, but not necessarily for. If you make those rumbles car. with spaces in between, the wheelchair can go through. Well, well, I've seen that. You do it on where the where the stripe would be on either side. You yeah. might put texture, but in the middle, we should try to keep it. Here, here's what we're going to look at, just to just to clarify it, and, and we're going to look at, at those from budgetary point of view. We can maybe we'll come back to you and talk. But we're going to look at, at this cross section, try to save as much of the existing as as, as we can, uh, and and this will be not this will won't be a gutter. This will be concrete to delineate a two ten foot lanes with an eight foot parking lane, right? and then and then the the we're I'm going to look at our budget to see if we can take care of. Of, of the tree issue here, uh, here ourselves, and then we're going to look at the bump outs. We're going to look at the crosswalks. And we're look at, going to look at the lighting. Does that wrap it up? Yes. Yeah, I just had two two issues. It's the observation and the concern. <coughs> the observation is that um, I did a walk. I was invited to do a walk. Um, you were there. That gentleman was there. Um, yeah, and uh, it was a very interesting walk. It was a couple hours. This is a couple years ago. And one of the things that was very interesting to me to hear from the professionals is, you know, it, it, this area is not really set up for pedestrian tra traffic, but everybody's moving to walking, you know, you want to walk everywhere. And for me, university, that crosswalk, and, and, and I know that's beyond the scope of this, but crossing university is dangerous. My wife just had a baby. I don't, I tell her, don't, don't try, because... You're the, it's like the game Frogger. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're dodging cars. That's crazy. You know, we're, we should be promoting walking and going to Village America Park, Village America Park, being able to cross, etc. And you can't do that. And it was one of the things that was discussed during that walk. And I hope that you all 
consider, I don't know how you're the city person, how you consider uh, 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 crossing universities from the, from the, from we, we, we can take a look at that, and, and, and I think there is a plan to look at, uh, uh, Ernie's already have a plan to look at some of the issues in the university. Uh, I need to check whether that is around. From what am I, I don't know. The I'm not sure. I, 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 I don't know. I, I think I know. I know we are doing some some, yeah. some work over there. We are, but I don't we know. Are, but, I don't know. But, but I can't answer that. One, one of the issues. We, we will. We can take a look at that. I don't promise it will be part of this. But uh, we, but we can take a look at that. From my from my understanding, one of the issues is that uh, right now the, the, that traffic light is triggered only by cars, and there is no way for pedestrians. Yeah. Right. There's no, there's no that's what it's needed. Pedestrian crosswalk. Traffic lights, are, light. traffic lights are, are, are by Dade County. Those are not right. our traffic lights. No, we're and we have a lot of problems. We, and and we, we're working with, with Dade County because we, the, the, you know, the, the, the county has an issue. We have a lot of cars coming through here. And, and Waze hasn't helped us. We're, right, we're very centrally located. We're right in between downtown and, and the west. And we've done all kinds of measures to try to slow traffic down. We have a meeting on, on, on um, right, right at uh, right next door, which I'm going to now, uh, on, on traffic calming. And and so and so, but it's, it's it's difficult for the county because because what they're trying to do is they're trying to move traffic, and we're trying to do is we're trying to remove traffic. So we seem to be at a little bit of a. You know, said that well, I have faith in you. I have faith in you because I I'm the one that spearheaded the effort through, I don't know if it was you or somebody from your office, to put a parking, there didn't used to be a parking sign in Catalonia. Okay. Parking signs are ours. Everything else is theirs. Wait, no, the city, it, no, you guys made me go to the county, and they came out, they did little strips, uh -huh. and they put, we have a parking, and then over by the, by the, um, by the uh, police station, they have a parking, but Palermo doesn't have it. Okay. So you don't have, in other words, there, there's now a stop sign on Salcedo in Catalonia. Okay. We stop, we don't control okay. stop signs. So that no, I know, I had to go to yeah. County, but I have faith in you, <laughs> and you guys can, can help. We, we go to the county, and we're not the. Can you, you guys can go to you, the county? What's needed? Can you give the intersection? Well, let's let's well, flag the university uh, on South Side. Right. There's, right. there's an existing. And see, and see yeah, there's an existing yeah. crosswalk yeah, from from uh, along South Side. Is well, it a street light there? No, that's the thing. What's needed there is a pedestrian crosswalk. The the painting's there. The striping is there. There's a street light there. It's going to be there's a street light, but there's no pedestrian walk. So what you have to do is you have to wait. But since there's no there's no pedestrian signal. Right. Okay. But what issue? What is marked? The one further east from the north from the northwest corner of um, of that intersection to to across going south. There's a painted crosswalk, but you need a light. And and it's, we're trying to work with to the, make it the safe. Yeah, one issue uh, is that and, when you, and, uh, the just when you go south mm -hmm. on uh, Salzedo to University, okay, you can't cross over because the other side is one way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you want to turn left, you have to wait for the light to turn green. Mm -hmm. But if it's red, you can make a right towards Lejeune. So if you're crossing back this way, you're dealing with cars making a right, right. cutting Sweeping. you off as you're trying to get mm -hmm. from the north. You need a sign there saying no turn on red, perhaps, or I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll it's take a look at the intersection there, too, and then we'll, we'll have to reach out to the county because they have jurisdiction over that, but we'll... we'll but we're going to look at the issue. Yeah, you need and, to. And I, I just, uh, the, the, so I had an observation and a concern. Let me get to the concern. Um, I, I want to tell you that I greatly appreciate your help, your office's help. When I came to see you about a problem I was having with noise, you all op you operated on it immediately. You took care of it, you resolved my issue, and I could not be more grateful. So thank you. Um, but you did it very fast. This has happened over years. It's it's really, it, I wonder whether or not the city is serious about doing this. I appreciate your time, but my well, time is doing this not doing this. Because no. uh, it's been years. Your, I got this going, this will be part of the Agave project. But, but we were promised this years ago. I did this walk. It was, Couple of hours, you know, we were all enthused. Well, let me just say, let me just say that Agave has permits for the other side, mm -hmm. yeah. and we, we, and, and once, once we establish what you really want, and, and we're, and what we can, we, we need to get, we need to do the, the, the engineering, and we need to, and we need to get permits from, from Dade County. I don't see this one as complicated as some of the others. Right. Uh, respectfully, it's changed. Respectfully, it's changed quite a bit from what we were originally told. I understand there's some issue with the money about what was originally slated and what's gone down into the actual budget. 
And if you look, I was looking at, at the, the plaza, which is a beautiful building, but it's huge. It's almost done. Like they're almost done. They got windows all already yeah, up. They have, they've, 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 they've got a couple of. They've got another, yeah, but the windows are all up. Oh. They can put this huge building up. They wish they were done. This is a little project. They have a they, lot more work. There are a lot more. I, a lot I understand. More, a lot more buildings. But in terms of the scale, in other words, I understand this takes time, but it's not years. And so, if the city is serious, it needs to move forward because otherwise, with all due respect, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want you wasting. Well, we intend to report you. I mean, and that's, again, with complete acknowledgement of your ability to get things done. You will see, us, you'll, you'll see us moving forward in the other two areas. And the reason this said this we did not move, move, move forward is because, is, is because unfortunately, there was, you know, we, we, I think there wasn't, uh, we should have had a meeting on this before. And, uh, and I think we have consensus now. And then, and then uh, we can move forward. But had we had, Consensus then we would be here now. So that didn't happen. We need to move forward. Okay, and and and, and now we know what you all want. I'm going to. We're going to again. We're going to. We already discussed all those issues. We're going to sit down. We're going to value engineer this and see how we can get the biggest bang uh, 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 for for a dollar here. In addition to that, I'm going to be looking at our budget and our public works budget to see what we can augment as far as ex as. as uh, this project is concerned, and the tree issue that you brought up is, is a very legitimate issue. And I think I'm looking at maybe providing all, all landscaping from, from the city side. Let me, I don't promise anything right now because I got to look at my budget. And, and, and we have a lot of infrastructure going on. That's not, I know it's not a concern, but, but, but we have a, quite, a, quite a bit of work going on. But your concern is that, and I understand that. And I understand that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank I think you we have a way forward. That if there's any changes, we, I think we should have probably one more meeting and to let you know exactly where we're at, and and then, and then we need to move forward as quickly as possible on this. Thank you very much. Thank All right. You. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you again, Mr. Mann. Appreciate it. Good to see you.